Talk to me about the process of uh, coming to the decision to, to enter the draft. Um, it just, you know, it was a long thought process, but a little bit of everything was involved in it. You know, whether it be, you know, I'm graduating next weekend and um, in three years, or whether it be, you know, we had a great season, and both individually and collectively as a team. So I just felt like it was a proper time for me to go. I don't know how much you look at mock drafts and whatnot, but I mean, people are projecting you as, as, as a top five guy. When you see that, is, is, it, is it hard to go back for another season? Um, a little bit, but you know, there's a, a lot of other aspects goes into that. Um, but you know, it's just a blessing, you know, to be to be thought of as that. And you know, I still got a lot of work to do as an individual, as a person, and as a basketball player as well. Can you reflect on? Uh, I mean, it's it's been a meteoric rise for you. I, um, you know, not too many people were talking about you going into the season when it's all said and done. You're right up there for National Player of the Year. What, what's that been like? Oh, it's been crazy. Uh, it's been a crazy ride, you know. But I, I, again, I couldn't do it without my teammates. You know, without them, um, without the way they play, you know, without us winning collectively, you know, there'll be no player of the year. There'll, there'll be no top five pick. There'll be nothing like that. So I'm just glad to have those guys in my life and the coaching staff that we had in this program um, that, have, that I've grown in and, um, and I truly love. So um, I'm just very thankful. What are you hoping to show teams, uh, you know, during the individual workouts and that whole process? Um, you know, just showing what got me here, you know, how hard I work and how I can affect the game on both ends of the floor, you know, and uh, how I can do that at a high level. What is, you know, reaching the NBA, being drafted, uh, what, what does that, that mean to you? It's like a dream come true. You know, you were, you were a little kid, you dream of stuff like that. You know, me, I dreamed of it, but, I, you know, at the same time, I didn't really think it would, it would ever happen. You know, it was just a dream. But I was willing to work hard to see if it could come true. And, you know, I'm just going to continue to keep working hard because, I mean, I'm going to the NBA, but I still got a lot of other, you know, goals and dreams that I want to accomplish. So I just got to continue to keep working hard and do whatever got me here in the first place. You and Cody are both projected as lottery picks. How special would it be for both of you guys to go in the lottery? Uh, it would be real special, you know, not only for us, but this program as well, you know, to see how hard we've worked to get to this position and, you know, to see how hard he's worked to get in the position he's at is, is an amazing feeling. So um, we're very fortunate, and we just got to continue to keep working hard so we can do well in the league. I use losing a lot, but returning some, some good players and a good freshman class coming in, you think the Hoosiers will be okay next year? Oh, yeah, they will be. Um, they have a great coaching staff, um, and that's huge. You know, and they got the work ethic, especially the guys who are already there. And if they instill that in, in the players that are coming in, then they'll be just fine. And the last question, this might be kind of tough since there's been so many good times for you guys at IU, but do you have a favorite memory? Wow. Um, for this year, probably when we beat Michigan and Michigan. You know, we came back and won. I think we were down five with like 45 seconds left or 50 seconds left, something crazy. And, you know, we came back and won. Um, it just showed our grit, you know, and our hunger to win. You know, and it was an, an amazing feeling. And um, we're just fortunate. Do you know, um, I know that you're working out on campus right now. Do you know where you're going to be training after that leading up to the draft? Yeah, I'm, I'm working out right now in Indiana. And then um, after graduation, I'm moving back to Maryland and D.C. and working out there.